constellations blazing with the lights of a thousand stars to challenge them with the speed of light. Backseat! You said it! My name is Katie Barnes. I am the education director and the director of the Clumsy Custard Horror Show. I like to say that this place is kind of a cross, uh, kind of a cross between Galaxy Quest and uh, Spaceballs, and then also like Monty Python and the Holy Grail. I feel like you combine all those things and you get the Clumsy Custard Horror Show. It's a comedy. It's got some slapstick. It's got love interest. It's got your evil players coming at you. It's got sword fighting, um, and it's got the heroes of the day. So it's got all the things that you love to see in a story to have some fun for the night. Hopefully she will be more appreciative than her mother. Oh, I fear I am to blame for that, Ted. How so? We uh, advertise this as 13 to 18 year olds. I think we do have maybe a one 11 year old in the cast. Um, but they are from the age of like 11 and then we've got some adults in the mix who are uh, just recently graduated from college and one that's still in college, I believe. Um, and they came to help us out. We, we had lower registrations than what we were hoping for and we didn't want to cancel the show. These students deserve to have a great show. And we thought what a great opportunity to bring in some seasoned actors to bring alongside them and really just amp them out. You know, uh, kids match your energy on stage, so our adult actors really bring that heightened energy that they need to really get our kiddos moving. I was on fire! You were a creep. Hi, uh, yes, I remember it well. I kissed your lips. You kissed my nose. Uh, we danced till dawn. Clumsy custard! I actually really love the clumsy custard itself. Uh, you know, it's the namesake of the play. I think that role is super fun track for someone to be doing, and I think that the ominence of it is just so fun to play with. Hold on, Custard. Methinks their hiss is worse than their bites. Uh, 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 Warple. Yes, Swashrek? Uh, we've got big trouble here. I cried out most fearfully. Please, do not hurt me. Why should I? Because you're an ugly beast. You're no Hugh Jackman yourself. Warful, Warful, Warful! Warful? Uh, Warful is the only character in the play that's not a human. He has three horns and weird big hairy feet with really long toenails. He has I'm a, Warful. a weird time recognizing things. I don't know why, but whenever certain characters pop up, I either call them strange looking birds or very strange looking children. The children part is completely true, but I don't know how I would mistake a human for a bird. All hail kingdom. Come on. All hail kingdom. All hail kingdom. My character's name is uh, King Dum. Um, King Dum is, um, well, the king of uh, the land of proper. And, uh, is uh, kind of an, an older, more senile character who um, is um, kind of wanted to do the best for uh, his daughter, the Princess Prince, and for the kingdom, uh, but kind of not really sure what is going on or what to do. Can we start it with a silly make-believe monster this time and see what I like? Okay, let's try it one more time, guys. It's just a fictional beast, you say? Silly make-believe monster. The expectations are just to make sure that the cast feels comfortable on stage, that our crew is ready to go, and just make sure that they have a blast to end out their week with us. They've been here since Monday and they've put this all together in just a week's time, so it's just about making sure that they have everything they need for show day and that they feel amazing by the end of it. A week felt bad at first, but it's actually not that bad because since we have like six hours each day, like six or more hours. So we have more than enough time, I feel like, to memorize my lines. I can't speak for everybody because unlike some people, I don't have 400 lines. I only have 100. But guess what? It turns out it's not that hard. It's only three easy steps. Number one, read it. Number two, memorize it. And number three, don't forget. I feel like it's it's a lot more zany and a lot more just like wild in terms of not just my character but like everyone else's. It's just uh, really fun in the sense that all these kids are putting in a lot of work and a lot of passion towards this. 
Beg pardon? And everyone's just having a really great time. And I think that's what elevates this from other plays that I've done. Just the weird creature with three horns. Ah! And then it's on her shoulders still. So. Fear not, you are saved! Ah! We know that our teens specifically have a lot of options in their lives. They've got plenty of camps during the summertime, schools getting ready to start back up, so there's a lot of different sports teams that are starting to meet. They have busy schedules, busy lives, and we want them to be able to still make art in the process with us. So we thought if we do it in a week's time, that allows them to still do all their traveling, still be a part of all the different clubs and activities that they're already a part of, but still be able to come make some art with us.